Well, good morning. And uh, today we're going to talk about Flitz varnish cure. So this is uh, Flitz metal polish, a really well thought of metal polish made by a German company. Comes in a box that looks like that. Kind of an interesting shaped box. And you can buy uh, Flitz online at flitz.com and just look for the polish section. And they call this metal plastic and fiberglass polish. Um, 150 grams. Okay. Uh, yesterday I was going to do just half uh, one side of the top and then compare it and I didn't get the button pushed here on the recorder so this bottom half we did yesterday. Yes, four coats of flitz gives a maximum effect so you can tell the difference. This is not done. This is a fresh varnish. Not done. Flitz. Not done. Okay, same thing here. Not done yet. Um, and flitz varnish. Okay, so what we want to do today is we're going to turn it around. And they were an even t a tap tone to start with. So we're going to do four quick coats of um, flitz polish on the top plate here. So use about that much. Now remember, you cannot leave this on the surface, uh, just in a blob like that. In a couple, in about two minutes, that'll actually eat right through the varnish and leave the color and just take it right down to the. So you have to immediately spread it around. Okay, nice big swirling loops. Careful around the sound holes. Don't put much pressure there. And you keep polishing until it starts to feel dry. So it's still kind of like a liquid polish right now, or paste wax actually. So there's some kind of a chemical reaction that occurs here. It's starting to feel, sound a little dry. Then you take a clean area of your rag, wipe the surface, okay, and take another soft cotton cloth here. And we'll just pop it down here. Okay, so we'll compare the two sides. So this is four coats, one coat. Okay, ready for the second coat. Select a little clean area. Just give a little dollop. Okay, spread it out. So you probably don't want to do more than half a plate at a time. All this together in an hour of hard work, you can give the top plate, the back plate, and the ribs uh, four coats. And I think what it does, it just matures the varnish the same as your occasional um, polish at a concert. You polish it afterwards, and dust it off, and polish it, and that'll have the same effect over a number of years. And this just uh, matures it. Now this is a German oil varnish that contains propolis on this particular violin. And I've used it on other type of German oil polish. And it seems to have the same effect. I haven't tried this on spirit uh, varnish, so I'm not sure. We'll have to try it. <clears throat> okay, that's two coats. Coat number three. Spread it out. Push, 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 push. I believe when I've done this on a, a you know, the whole violin, and I worry weigh it with a gram scale first. And then weigh it after the four coats of flitz varnish. I believe it adds like two grams of weight, uh, at least in the short term. So there's some kind of a chemical thing happening. Okay, we'll polish it. All right. So that's after three coats. So 
is getting a lot closer. Now, if I haven't missed my count here, this is the fourth coat. You immediately have to scrub that, uh, spread it around. No blobs anywhere. certain luster to it. Make sure I get the edges here. All right, let's see if the All right. So that's up. Uh, now on the back side is the same situation. This is the side we did. And so now we want to do this side, four coats. Okay, so coat number one. Get it where your fingers right behind the blob there. excess off here. Take our other soft cloth and kind of polish it. Okay, I'm just going to check and make sure I'm really taping. Do, do, do. Yep, looks good. <clears throat> okay, so we're about halfway in our 17-minute uh, taping session. So let's apply, the, listen to the difference here. Coat number two here. Small little blob. Spread it around. After a while, you'll feel kind of start to feel dry, kind of drag a little bit. And then you're just going to wipe the excess off. Good exercise for your arms, by the way. Okay, so at the end of two coats, let's see how it is. Alright, coat number three. Spread it around. No blobs on the surface. All right, now I fix this off. Soft cotton cloth. Okay. There's a slight difference. Okay, so coat number four. Okay, so you see I've kind of pulled the rag back here. We don't want to just absorb into our cloth. We want to get on the wood. Things right behind the little blob.
it's starting to feel a little dry. Okay, soft rag. Okay. So you hear all the sounds come up to match now. And I did a uh, test here with our uh, wood reference tap tool. And it looks like the on both the top and the back, the flitz polish is added about one hertz to both instead of 198. Now it's 199. Instead of 176. It's 177. And so I'll just have to check in time and see if that holds up. But it's a small effect anyway. Okay, now we have time just to experiment with the ribs. I think we'll we'll do this lower bout area. Okay, I'm gonna do one half four times and we'll compare it to the other side. So this is the left side. Choose that at random. All right. All right. So again, you just want to don't, don't use over much here. I'm just going to do this half. Back and forth till you start it starts to feel dry. Just kind of buff it down. Alright, coat number two. You can see this isn't a real time consumer. But it does have an effect. I mean, it sounds like it would be better for projection, better tone quality. Okay, polish until it's dry. Be sure you get, don't leave any blobs. Uh, you know, next to the overhang here. <clears throat> Two. Okay. Coat number three. So this way you can have a mature varnish, a vert, a mature violin to start with, so you don't have to wait it to, uh, you could call it break in or come into its own voice, you find out what its voice is right up front. All right, and the fourth coat, which is the maximum number. After this, it just doesn't add anything to it. Okay. Uh, rub it in, rub it in, rub it in. Keep scrubbing until it dries. It starts to drag on your cloth. Okay. Wipe any excess off. Get right in the joints on the overhang. Your soft cloth. Wash that up. Okay, now for the moment of truth. So the right side, the left side here was the one we did. So here it's sort of sounds like the sound's being absorbed a little bit. Here the sound's coming off. So that's um, Foots Polish on what I'm calling my uh, Opus Nathan violin. And um, so you might give it a shot. It's uh, the Foots Varnish Technique, which I kind of discovered by accident one time when I. But it does have an acoustical effect and it might be useful.